welcome to my corner. Woo! Welcome to my corner. Let's have a talk now. Uh -huh. From Miami to California. Yeah. Check your girl out. I'm gonna give it to you straight up. That's right. That's right. Keeping it real. No things inside. Let's go. Welcome to my corner, y'all. Everybody, welcome back to the corner. Okay, let's get right into it because this week. Kanye West drop Jesus is King. All right, so the world is going crazy. Let's let's give me my opinion because I got something to say. All right, first things first. So I listened to the album. I listened to it. It was a solid six or seven. It was not that amazing. Like everybody, like this the best Kanye album. Did y'all miss College Dropout? Yeah, I had to. dark. My dark and twisted fantasy was low key good too. Was the was the words he saying good? Nah, but them albums was bops. Okay, this album was a six or seven to me. Like it didn't. Kanye is a musical like hero, and musically, I didn't get it. I'm sorry. Like I loved the message. I love that you're telling the world about Jesus. Yes, Kanye. Um, but musically. As, as a fan of rap, um, no. And also, like, be clear, I'm not a Kanye hater. Like, well, kind of, kind of, I'm not a Kanye fan either. Like, I used to listen to Kanye when Kanye made Jesus Walks. And then, like, after that, Kanye got a little wild for me. And I said, when he became Jesus, I said, I got to go, son. I got to go. Um, so I'm not a hardcore Kanye fan. And, I, and, I, and I've also been in my corner talking about him being canceled. So this is why this is tricky for me. Okay, so on Friday when the album dropped, my timeline was split. All right, so my blackness in me was like, no. And the gospel in me was like, yes. Okay, let me tell you what the black community is saying. Okay, so the black community is like, why the heck are y'all listening to this Kanye West album when he just said that slavery did not exist and he's endorsed Trump? That is like endorsed Trump. That's like saying um, you can kill us and black lives don't really matter as long as you sprinkle Jesus on the top. Oh, man, I know. I get it. That's why half of me was tore up because I was like, do you excuse his poor behavior because he's talking about Jesus? And then it's like, well, Jesus gave you grace. Yes. But do you hold yourself accountable? Like I was torn, you guys. I was torn. I totally understand the black community's frustration because black people don't care about anything at all. Like, we don't stick to anything. Like, as long as you say Jesus forgave, you would forgive anything. And we'd be like, yes, Lord. So I understood the black community. I sure did. Um, that's like R. Kelly coming back after getting out of jail. And it's like, you know what? I found the errors of my ways. And um, Jesus saved me. Okay, but you have touched little girls. Do we, do we cancel you still? Or do because Jesus forgave you, do we forgive? Like, it is very hard for me. And I understand both sides. I really do. Like, I get it. Kanye, like, but then I'm like, okay, well, maybe you coming to know Jesus, the Holy Spirit will give you some wisdom and direction to show you that that ain't slavery existed and what you endorsing ain't the move. Like, I, I'm so torn, y'all. Now, the gospel in me, the preachers and, man, Preachers get excited about anything. Um, so the preachers, all these preachers are going crazy on Instagram and they're endorsing him and they're like, yes, and da 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 and we need to welcome him with open arms. Okay, sure. But uh, I want y'all to be excited for people coming to Christ like this when y'all cousin who get out of jail be, you know what, shut up, Candace. Um, I understand y'all being excited because he's teaching about Jesus and this shows like, Anybody can be saved. Anybody can be changed. And the body and, and Jesus can change you and save you. And, and what we preach about and teach about is real. I get that. I get it. I get it. But uh, at the end of the day, Kanye ain't coming to y'all church. And he ain't going to sow no seeds either. So, uh, I mean, you can promote this album all you want. Still, please give us a good word tomorrow. Thank you. Um, so, I, 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 am, I see all sides. Now, there was a third side the holiness people, aka the ain'ts, you got saints and ain'ts, the ain'ts who throw legalistic Bible at you and say you must test the spirit and you must know it by its fruit. Y'all only want to test the spirit when it's not your favorite. I'm coming for y'all. Y'all only want to see what trees, the fruits bear when it's not your favorite. Because if that was the case, y'all would be testing the spirit of some of y'all pastors. 
who can and shut your mouth. If that was the case, y'all be testing the spirit because some of this stuff that your pastors be preaching ain't Bible. Also, some of them need to be sat down because they be sleeping with different people and be on the blogs every week. If you testing the spirit, test every single part. If a tree is known by its fruit, some of your pastors got bad fruit. That's all I'm saying. Like if you're going to crucify Kanye, you got to crucify your pastor on the same. You can't pick and choose which part of the Bible you want to participate in. That's all I'm saying. Now, the ants was also like, he don't need to be in no pulpit. He don't need to be doing this. Mm, I uh, I understand. <laughs> would, pa would Kanye be my pastor? Absolutely not. But be clear, sis, I wouldn't, your pastor wouldn't be my pastor neither. I seen some of y'all's sermons. That ain't it. Would I go to Kanye's church? I really don't know. Probably to spectate, and that ain't a good thing. But I also wouldn't go to your church either. I've seen it. It's not my style. You don't have to like every single thing that goes on in the body of Christ because Jesus is stamped on it. You don't. It's not a law and it's not a sin. Like, there are some preachers that I don't care for. And when y'all bring them up, I'll be like, oh, no, I'm not watching them. Because I don't care for them. Now, does that mean that what they say ain't true? I don't know, but they just not for me. So, you cannot like Kanye and you can just shut your mouth and not like Kanye. You ain't got to be excited and bashing, but let the man be saved. Now, will he be shepherding my soul? Will Kim be my first lady? Nah, bro. <laughs> And Chris Jenner ain't gonna be my elders and Chloe and Kim and Courtney and say eight. No, that is not my first family. Um, I see, I, I see both sides, and I'm torn. The album was okay. Should you listen to it? Sure, whatever. Will I be playing the album before I get up to lead worship? <laughs> probably not. I probably play the album like it's not gonna be my favorite album, but it was good, y'all. It was straight. I'm happy that he saved. I also understand the black community. I'm so torn with this whole situation. Like, I'm not out here screaming and jumping up and doing jumping jacks for Kanye. I mean, I'm happy his soul got saved. Now, Holy Spirit, work on him to see that Trump and everything that's going on. But you know what? Jesus ain't no Democrat or Republican, so there's that. Y'all, I'm just torn. That's really how I feel about this whole Kanye situation. I understand every single part, every single argument. And I'm just like, who's right, who's wrong? I don't know. Find out next episode on Dragon Ball Z. All right, so we'll be back in the corner um, next week. I got something I need to tell y'all. Oh, I'm definitely not pregnant. That's not what we talk about. And I'm not getting married either. But I got something to tell y'all. All right, so we'll be back in the corner next week. I love y'all. See you later. Bye.